do you think all of the major events and changes in history stemmed from powerful communicators, for better or worse? Yes. The better you were at communicating, the more you could persuade and rally people around an idea. Yes, it's an interesting dichotomy. Leaders aren't necessarily the best communicators, and communicators are seldom the best leaders. But they, but you have to have both. And so you have great movements. That, for example, the, the Reformation that changed history. Um, it's because Martin Luther could write, and he could write tracts. And he wrote in the common, what was called the vulgar or the, or the vernacular language. Um, people weren't doing that. People of his type were writing in Latin. Well, the average person didn't read Latin. So he started writing in, in street German. Um, and that, that's what helped spark the Reformation. So you're absolutely right. The, the communication is critically important. And that's more important today than ever. Um, we thought it was going to go away. We thought the moving image and movies and television was going to replace the written word. The fact is it's taken to a whole other level. I mean, I read whole articles that are half just, just printed tweets. The news is happening in tweets, and somebody's putting it together in an article. So what, this is one of the real leadership issues today is that a true leader has got to take responsibility for communication, even if he or she aren't that gifted for it. You've yeah. got to make sure that somebody's doing it for you. You've got to make sure you stick close to the communication devices and mechanisms and people and leaders and technologies. But it's absolutely true. George Washington, you would never have wanted to sit through a speech by him. But somebody had to communicate for him. And that's where Payne came in. That's where certain newspaper publishers came in. That's where Jefferson came in. That's even where Franklin came in. So that 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 ability to uh, systematize, bring together the thought, make it moving, make it poetic, that's what changes history. And then somebody, then once, once the sentiments have changed, have got to galvanize that change and take us on to victory. So my takeaway is if you've got a vision and you're a leader, you've got to communicate that thing very clearly – a yes. lot and persuasively. Yes. Uh, my firm in D.C. coaches a lot of speakers, and it's fascinating. For, I only mention that for this reason. It's fascinating to watch how many times the person I most like, would most like to see be president, would most like to see be Speaker of the House, they're not good communicators. Mm. And they're probably never going to get there. In a TV age, in a media age, I just, I just grieve because they're, they're, I don't know that anybody can coach them to the level they need to be to achieve to defeat an entire field of presidential candidates, but they might be the best person. And so, you know, I've got to trust God about these matters, but the fact is that communication is the issue. And I, I work with a lot of CEOs, and sometimes they've started brilliant companies, but they're just not good communicators. So they either, it doesn't mean that they have to give up and quit. It means that they've got to manage the communication while they may not be the person to do it themselves. And that's that's one of the arts of leadership in our, in our age, certainly. Yeah. Delegation, getting the right team around you, it's right. crucial. Make sure you master the technologies. I don't care if you're on TikTok, but you need to know what it is. You need to know how it works. You need to know who in your firm would be best on TikTok. You need to know how to monetize it. Um, so the companies that I really admire and kind of giggle about are where a 70-year-old West Texas good old boy actually owns and is running the company, but he's brilliantly hired the right people. And he'll able, he's able to say over coffee, well, I think we're on TikTok, but I don't know what he actually knows. He's just being – he's just doing the aw shucks thing of yeah. West Texas good old boys. But because he sticks close to the issue of communication. And by the way, the one I'm thinking of right now is an oil company. But even today, you've got to be able to communicate. And – the wise person, even if they're not good at it personally, knows how to hire people to round them out. And that's what happened with the founding fathers. You had Washington, really a poor verbal communicator, poor speech maker, but he put brilliant people around him. And he had the opportunity to do it because there was a genius cluster at the time. 